Welcome everybody. This is the uh, Day Trader Genius Daily Review for March 6, 2019. I'm Scott. Coach uh, Jay has joined us and we're going to take a look at what happened this day and if we were able to make a little bit of money. Yeah, Scott, we were. Um, overall, the market had a little bit more of a downtrend as you can see here on the basket that I'm going to share with you. And had kind of a down morning and then kind of picked back up a little bit, but stayed mostly down for the day. We had CRM, which provided us some opportunity. Let me get to it at uh, first thing of the day, which is always nice because then you can just uh, wrap it up quick. Don't have to stare at candles all day, make your money and, uh, and go enjoy your life. So right here, you can see CRM coming out of the wrist zone. Nice, big, juicy green candles. We've got everything here except our uh, volume genius, which is this purple histogram, but that's okay. It's not, uh, not something we have to have. We got a lot of volume here in these candles. So this How long makes are the candles? Oh, they're, they're eight minutes. Thanks, Scott. This is from a previous... Here we go. So we do have the volume genius and filters coming off on the one minute on this one. And let's go ahead and get in. Even though we've had this kind of nice trend going along, we can see it kind of stalling right here. It doesn't, it moves a little bit, but doesn't really go too far and has some resistance and it's decided to break through that resistance. So we want to take advantage of that opportunity. So let's buy a, a call and let's move forward. And right there, we've got a nice, a nice trend. Um, it's a long building trend, which is really nice. We could take it further if we wanted to, but at this point we've had, we've kind of met some requirements. It's kind of already made it through some resistance. Our filters are going off, but we have this nice, nice bit of volume on a building trend. So it's one of those kind of things where you see it and some people are like, oh, this is going to this is going to go on forever. Look at it. The, the, the volume's building. The candles are getting bigger. It's big, fat and juicy. There's no end in sight. Well, guess what? There is an end in sight. And once I hit the double digits, I am definitely out of there, even if it's still looking good, because uh I don't want to risk. This has been a long building situation. There's gonna be some sort of resistance in this zone at some point, if not at the whole dollar amount there. So I'll take my 11% and be done with it. We can go a little bit forward to see what happens with it. We've also kind of crossed the time window, which is, which is important. And it turns around and it turns around pretty quickly. Wow. Lots of times on these building trends, you see this kind of weakening and then this big drop. You want to be out before you get to this point. If you hadn't gotten out there, you probably could have gotten out with a decent profit here. Uh, that's enough of an indicator. But uh, let's go ahead and not be greedy and uh, know that trends aren't going to last forever and uh, get out. We can always get back in if it picks back up again. So let's CRM. We are going to move to ten thirty. So just a little bit later in the day, where you saw that nice downtrend on the basket. Let's see here. And here we go. Now we're looking at Google. Google's been kind of channeling. Scott, what I mean by channeling is you got all this junk right here. A lot of resistance keeping this stock from breaking through the ceiling. And oddly enough, look at that. When we look left, it's about where it had presented itself at uh, the 945. So the 945 top held true. 
and created some channeling here, as well as the wrist zone, this blue line that's not particularly horizontal, but you see it on all of our charts, is holding up the stock from a support for the day. So we're kind of waiting for an opportunity for that to break through and get into a breakout and see if the market is gonna support us as well too. And there we go. Decides to come out of the wrist zone. Nice long candle. Market is extremely strong right now. It's doing, it's, it's just going down uh, pretty hard. This would be an opportunity to get out if you wanted to just take your 8% and, and be done with it and call it good. With the strength in the market and due to some of the time component, I'm comfortable staying in another minute or two to kind of figure out, let itself figure itself out or kind of uh, trail off because there is just so much market support right now. And so, yep, here it is. Get out here, we're meeting some resistance and we got a nice 11% profit on Google. One of the things that's important is because of all the factors and through coaching, we teach our students how to really evaluate the everything that's going on and tell themselves an accurate story. And the more confidence that you can build and the more confidence that you get through experience, you can tell yourself a good story about what's going on with the stock in relationship to the market and be able to make those decisions of staying in versus getting out. And I stayed in and hit this Y point, saw that resistance and got out. So sure, missed a little profit there, but no big deal, no sweat, still at 11%. Not gonna hold on to hope that it's gonna continue to go further and we'll go ahead and close that down. We have one more for you today. Um, about an hour later, again, on Boeing. And let's see here. Let's move forward. Here it is, a little bit later in the day, get in that lunch hour but there's still some opportunity. Boeing is in this nice kind of a channels for a while and then breaks out. Channels for a little while, then breaks out. Channels for a little while, and then we'll see what it does here. And boom, there we go. We look left. We don't see anything. There's no candles. We're in new territory. It's kind of exciting. And we're looking for our next resistance. So let's get in here with the put. And one of the things I want you to pay attention to is this number right here. The D percent, once it gets to 100, sometimes it'll go up to 10% over, but lots of times you're gonna see some resistance. It is its own resistance and people do pay attention to its uh, average daily range. Nice big juicy candle we've got. It's hard to read, but we've got a, a seven day break below on this one. And I believe that that's where it's gonna head or pretty close to it. And there it goes. And we're at 109%. That's close enough to the 10% over for me while we're also hitting uh, some support line here and just some massive volume. The market's pretty strong, but with kind of the factors in consideration of where it's meeting support and this number right here, we're going to go ahead and get out with another 11%. And so on today, we were able to hit about just under 33% on three 11% trades. Uh, we have Boeing uh, in and out in two minutes for approximately 11%. CRM in and out for three minutes, approximately 11%. And on Goog, 1032, 1035, so three minutes and 11%. So pretty, pretty good day there, Coach Jay. Yeah, and just in time for lunch. <laughs> so, 
you can have a long uh, working lunch or just a fun lunch and enjoy the rest of our days. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Cool. So this is uh, what's possible pretty much every day that the markets are open. And we were just showing you Monday to Thursdays. We figure everyone deserves a long weekend. And uh, this is what happens when you have the right tools, you have the right training, you have the right mindset, you uh, are mastering the skills of making the trades. And um, we really want to invite everybody to look into this a little bit more, get a hold of us if you uh, want to get a 10 day trial. And uh, Coach Jay will be happy to uh, you know, talk to you a little bit about your goals and, and how the software works. We've also got a lot of training. And uh, after 10 days, you should have an idea if this is something you want to pursue uh, more, in which case we, uh, we have ways that you can do that, join our community. Any last comments before we uh, sign off, Coach Jay? Yeah, just get comfortable and gain the confidence of telling yourself an accurate story, being able to weigh all the factors in the market and come up with an accurate story that, that, uh, that you have confidence in will allow you to kind of decide whether or not you're going to stay in or get out. And that's really important on the exit side of trading. Great. Thanks uh, for joining us, everybody. Thank you, Coach A, for sharing your knowledge and your wisdom and your expertise. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.